Well, good morning, everybody. This morning, we're going to go kayaking, and this is Henderson Inlet. So uh, before the tide gets too far yep. out, we've got a few more days here, and we're going to go hiking. Uh, so follow along. So they give you life jackets. We should have brought our own. Should've... Oh, no, this would be fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, looking sexy. <laughs> okay. Same color. We gonna do this. I hate it when the paparazzi comes after us. All we want to do is get away a little bit, <laughs> do some kayaking and relaxing, and the paparazzi just won't let us alone. Okay, we're gonna head that direction. I lost him, he's way back there. <laughs> I got a little ahead of myself because the current, we're going against the current. Ugh, we should have brought our own life jackets. We um, are going against the current so that we can float back. But isn't it pretty? Holy moly, is it pretty. I will say the current's pretty strong. We've been paddling now for about 20 minutes and we just left right there. So we've only gotten maybe a couple hundred yards. It'll be nice going back, but you can kind of see watching the shoreline as I'm just sitting here, we are moving quickly unless you keep paddling against the, uh, the flow. Oh, and we have a little friend right here coming to visit. Well, hello. And he's out looking for some breakfast today. You looking for some breakfast? Hey buddy, are you going to share the waters with us? God, I sure hope he's friendly. <laughs> I don't know where he went. Okay, I lost the seal. And I feel like I'm in a scene in Jaws. I think we've decided that paddling upstream is not the funnest or up current, I should say. So I think we're gonna just kind of relax now. Let the current take us back to the dock. It's been fun out here. We're just gonna relax, take it easy. Then we have to head into town, get some more food for this evening. Um, we'll talk about what went wrong in the house last night. More to come. So I don't know, you got out of the kayak first. I don't even yeah, know how you do it. Unfortunately, the cameras weren't, weren't rolling. <laughs> no way. Probably a good thing that yeah. the cameras weren't Because we're rolling. at a ramp and it's kind of muddy. Yeah. And it took a miracle to get me out of it. But you ended up almost flipping your... <laughs> I had an accident. He flipped his kayak and it got filled with water and he got out. <laughs> <sighs> that was fun though. Yeah. Well, we are off to the grocery store. Off to the grocery store. We have sometimes the worst, clear my way, luck. Um, <laughs> so we woke up this morning and all of our food in the fridge was warm. Yeah. But the freezer's still working. Yeah, the freezer's still working. 
and a few of the things that were in the drawers were a little bit cold because they're above the freezer right but the freezer, yeah. luckily we have a cooler um, that we brought the food down in so we're gonna go to the grocery store and replace it all and get ice and we'll just keep our stuff in there so we'll see what our host says uh, she's gonna come check it out but something's definitely not working so hopefully somebody does something for us because we lost a couple hundred dollars worth of food yep now we're gonna hopefully go for a hike except for we found out that <laughs> the parks that we might want to go to require a discover pass which we don't have so there's a couple down here at the end of the bay they call it the south bay so hopefully we can get in otherwise i don't know what we're gonna do turn around and have a early hot tub <laughs> uh, always something well okay so we are right here yep and then this is the woodward bay south point here and uh -huh. the loop is here but they're not advertising it on there this whole thing is a railroad kind of like the cedar river so okay. i can look at my phone and see if because there is another trail but i i don't know how you get there well, because well i guess we could just start walking and because there's another trail down there so we're on the Chehalis Woodward Trail, and um, it used to be a railroad. Okay. So it actually goes 21 miles. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do that today, <laughs> not unless we're on a train. So, but it's nice and flat, so we don't feel like getting muddy. Nope. And we can work off our lunch. Yes, which we need to do. I could have, you mean I could have had the cheesecake? Yep. Oh man. It's been one of those trips, but fun so far. So far, so good. Goats, goats over here. Goats. Meh. 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 What we've figured out is that this is literally just a straight stretch as you can see yeah. behind us it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't do anything it just goes straight straight <laughs> so there is another trail i think we may turn around and go back and see if that doesn't connect with um the woodward bay park or at least check it out i will show you so we've turned around and we are now it's the trailheads right straight ahead. Oh, okay. So let's go see. That should connect us to the Woodward Bay trail. It says it's primitive. I don't know what their definition. I guess compared to paved yeah. would make it primitive. Yep. This is the Woodward Bay. Oh, okay. So we went way out of our way, but that's okay. So we just missed it. Okay. Crazy crow in here. Yeah, crazy crow here in the forest now. But I think we're now on what is it? Woodward Bay Trail. But there's another loop, but we have to drive to that yeah, one. And we'll do I that think tomorrow. We'll do that one tomorrow. Yep. Looks like we are reaching the end. No, no. We sure the map. We got a long ways to go. I don't think so. Unless you want to go swimming. I think it goes this way. It goes to the right. Oh, okay. I think, but maybe I'm wrong. You bring your machete. Hmm. There we go. That's pretty. Wow. I don't get it. 
tide's a little low right now. Still coming in. That's pretty. We're doing a seafood fest this evening. We're gonna start off with a shrimp cocktail. From there, we're gonna move on to a fresh clam chowder made right here in the Pacific Northwest. And then we are going to have steamed clams and mussels. Cannot wait, and a little bit of a white wine garlic sauce. We'll have bread that we can dip in all of this stuff. So it'll be fantastic. Also, for the shrimp, we have um, homemade cocktail sauce. Not, I didn't make it. No, not homemade, but we got I mean, from the... homemade from this Olympia Seafood Company. Yeah. Cannot wait. Yeah. Look at look at the size of those things. Oh my goodness! You can't beat the view. No. We've been sitting here watching salmon just dr jump out of the water. Salmon? I think so. They're oh. big fish. I mean, the, the fish that are jumping out are at least 24 to 30 inches in length. And these are shrimps. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Fresh from a locally sourced. So we'll start off with basically a cup of clam chowder. Let's have some bread. Okay. No, we'll put switch back. Almost done. Let's see what these look like. Oh. I think those might be done. Um. Today we um, are going, we had hoped to go on a hike. But we need a discovery pass, so that's not yep. going to work. So we're going to maybe do one of two things. We're down here at Swantown Marina. Um, there's a little trail. It's about a mile and a half. Uh, we're going to check it out. We had reservations for small, I can't talk today. Swantown <laughs> Marina a year and a half ago. And then due to COVID, we canceled that trip. Right. So at least we'll come down and see what the guest docks look like so that when we And maybe it, maybe there'll be a boat that we can check out today. We oh don't yeah, know for sure. You never know because so. there's probably a broker down here as well. Yep. Um, and then over there is a, a huge 300 acre park which is all full of trails. So we might end up doing that as well. The weather's yep. definitely turning so we don't want to get all soaked and, and cold. So we'll also see. Otherwise we'll just go back to the hot tub. <laughs> It's been a great, great weekend. So let's go check out the marina. Do not go on the beach. It's Ooh. a shame because it's nice, be a nice walk at low tide. Yeah. So this linear dock are the guest docks at Swan Town. So they're very similar to Port Orchard. There's also where the boat ramp is. It's a big sun dancer coming out. Whaler. I wonder what the story is with this guy. Hmm. A few weeks. But you can see there's not a lot of dock space because there's two boats there. Then you have a little bit of space here. That could be guests as well I'm wondering because there's I'm no way there's yeah. no way I'm guessing it's probably just these two these two sides here yeah because you would not have enough room it's nice that they do have the pump out and the gas fuel, fuel dock, dock right there good. so that's nice oh where are those guys going? it looks like there's kind of a wicked current oh, in yeah. here plus with the wind blowing this direction yeah. right now it would not be a fun because thing. that look how fast that uh, trimaran yeah. is going already. Ooh, it's kind of look at that. Well, I would I would stay here. Oh yeah. I mean, there's I, there's not a lot. What if you're going to go out to eat though? There's not a lot around here. No, but we're close enough to downtown. Yeah. You know that's no problem. But the uh, I will say it would be kind of tricky coming in here outside of slack tide. Yeah. It is. I would just time it that way. The current, the current is wicked. Is ripping, and right today it's really windy, so that's kind of blowing people off the dock as well. Yeah. Well, it depends on if you're starboard port. They have great facilities here. You have a couple paid showers. You got a men's room, the women's room. Laundry. Laundry. Yeah. Looks like it's you know secured. Yeah. Pretty crappy. You get a code from the marina. You got a vending machine. 
vending machine. And then up here. Nice little park the, here. Yeah, they got a visitor information. And then they have recycling. They also have a spot for used motor oil. That's nice. Yeah, that's really We used nice. to have to take it to the office. Yeah. And then it looks like the dumpster is over there. Yep. Yeah. And then they have secure docks. Certified clean. Yep, more facilities. Which is nice. And then we're going to take this walking path that goes all the way down and back. And then here's the harbor office, dog walking, and more facilities right there. There's a big marina. We're standing outside the uh, fence line of, I believe it's Roggenlin Marine. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Looks like it's a really clean boat yard. I really like the fact that they lay out the tarps for each individual location. I think we have found our new project boat right here. It would be fun. It would be fun. Tiny. It'd be a small enough one that we could work on it. And it looks like it's an old Trojan. Um, it just needs a little TLC, I would imagine. One of the cleanest boat yards I think it's I've ever gravel. seen. Yeah, it's that's true. It's not gravel. It's actually cement. Asphalt lot. This yeah. is really nice. So if you're ever in need in Tacoma, come to Roggenland Marine. Oh, Mar Olympia. I'm sorry, in Olympia. We're not used to coming this far south. So check out this boat, man. They they got it nice. It's, can't quite make out the name of it, but if we zoom in, check out the artwork on this one. I've never seen a mural. It's kind of like a mural where the boat name is. Beautiful. Instead of just your plain white fiberglass. So I'm always curious when we come into a place. These are obviously pilings that are not being used, but like this one here says number three. That one says number six, I think. So, wonder what this used to be. We're wondering if these are birdhouses because that one there has three of them on it. One thing about the Northwest that is not the same in a lot of other parts of the world is we have major tide fluctuations. Don't mind my hair. And today we have what, did you say a 15 foot tide swing? About that. So, right now the tide has gone out. And it still has another hour and a half to go. So imagine what it'll look like. Crazy. Crazy. We are in Priest Park. And it's about 314 acres. So we're going to check out the... Visitor center here. Figure out where we're gonna go. <laughs> Figure out where we're gonna go. I did download the PDF to my phone too. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness. Wow. Holy Stranger. moly. So we're right here. Okay. So we're just gonna jump into this trail here. And it kinda, we can either loop it here, come down here, cross the uh, East Bay Drive again. This will lead then to all these trails down here along the waterfront. Oh, okay. Or we can branch off and go up here into the woods and see. Okay, so. we'll check it out. Yes, we're gonna go this way. I think so. It's interesting, it says kitchen. I wonder if they've got... Number two, number three, number four. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that means. Well, I don't either. Guess we're gonna find out. They look like they are campsites yeah. though. campsite so I'm guessing we just follow the loop yeah but that's not hiking so that's what I'm saying I don't we're not supposed to be in the car there's trails all through here finally found a trail these are the mud flats yeah you can see where the deepest part is oh yeah. yeah so we have come to the end we can go see what it looks like at least oh yeah This is pretty cool. The tide's out, so look at that. Very cool. Wow. This is really cool.
only in the Pacific Northwest Revenge. are we so polite that we give you a shower curtain a shower curtain over a bench so it stays dry and yet you can use it take the curtain off sit on the bench rest <laughs> and then when you're done put the shower curtain back on for the next person yeah the trails in here are really nice I will say this is probably one of my favorite things about being in the Pacific Northwest <laughs> is how much conservation is done even in the urban areas yeah so I mean, we're, we're literally two miles from downtown Olympia. That almost looks like a bear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks like a koala. That is weird. What is it? It's just a knot. A knot? Looks like a little uh, koala bear holding onto the side of the tree. Well, that's so funny. Come onto this side. It isn't a knot. It is actually a bear carved into the tree. Kind of or attached to the tree. How funny is that? Oh, it's a birding trail. Let's take a peek. If it is straight up. Oh, I see. There's trails over there. I think that is the trail. <laughs> oh my god. Well see what we can do. I might die coming back up. We're getting closer. Because that's where we started today. That was the opening. So we're headed to Priest Point. Can't wait to see what we're going to get. <laughs> this has been a long hike. <laughs> oh my gosh. Find out. There's a good opening though. So now you really see how far out the tide is. Wow. And that is where we were a couple hours ago on the other side, but now you can see the water is coming back in, so we cannot cross. This is where we are right here. Right, and Priest Point is right here. Oh, okay. So we have to go okay, a little bit farther. just a little farther. So okay. let's go see what this is all about. There's a, <laughs> check out this guy down here fishing. So that's how shallow the water is. That must be his buddy's boat. Okay. <laughs> so we could have. So right behind us is where we. We're hiking. <laughs> it's the. It's the. Um, it's the uh, cove, and there are three exits to the trail. Yes, there's cars. There are three exits to the trail. And we just decided to take the shortest one and walk flat. So we don't have to do all the switchbacks. Okay, Is we'll that cheating? See. Leave your comments down below. Are we cheating? We have walked 6.81 6 miles There today. you go. That's a lot for us old people. <laughs> but no, this is a... We've already done it, so we'd just be repeating what we just did. Yeah. And there so were this is actually new for us. So, yeah, with all the stairs and we'll everything. We'll finish it about seven miles. Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, no. Yeah, this is a good day. And again, the fact that we could do this in the middle of Olympia. It's crazy. If you have not been to Priest Park, Point. I highly recommend yep. it. Who invited you? We got pretty eyes. Yes, you do. Okay, so that cat right here, the gray one, just pooped. Now the gray one, the black one, is on a prowl. Do not get into a cat fight, please. And I think they're totally stray. Totally stray. You think they're stray? Totally stray. You do? I mean, I think they're the neighborhood cats, but I mean, I don't think they're... they're, they're well, why did they... 
Why are they ours now? And if you need some company while you're eating your breakfast, this fella is just staring at us. <laughs> oh my God, it's hysterical. Go, go. Well, what do you think? It's been a fun weekend. Yes, it has been a fun weekend. This is great. I mean, never thought we'd uh, have a tiny home, but it was definitely doable. It was great for the weekend. You know, lifetime, I don't know. It was a nice tiny home, but I don't think this would be... I think, and I really think... We'd that, reconfigure it is what I'm saying. Well, and the other thing is, you know, on a boat, when you're in a galley, you are actually in there by yourself. It's usually in a corner. Whereas in a tiny home, it's part of the hallway. Yeah, you're in the middle of the And so <laughs> that, that's what I found. We were constantly yeah. in each other's way. Whereas on a boat, you don't have two people in the galley. Right. So um, I think it was similar to being on a boat in the sense that counter space was limited. Mm -hmm. Find where you can put stuff and right. chop. Um, I think most boats we'd be looking at would actually have more storage that was available. Yeah, there was than a lot in of here. storage. Not a lot of storage in, in the tiny home. Yeah. The, it was a good number for the weekend it was enough yeah. for living no yeah um the odd thing else too is we ran out of hot water uh doing dishes this morning so that would be the other thing i know we were lucky in our last boat we had a pretty good hot water tank what size was that like 70 gallon 50 gallons 30 gallons in our last boat uh -huh. oh no it was, i think it was a 10 gallon oh i thought it was 30. yeah no definitely would do it again um and we survived, so mm -hmm. I think we could definitely live on a boat. Yep, for so. sure. And I have some weird looks going on because we're being stalked by our neighbor's cats at the moment. So I will have to, uh, yeah, see. <laughs> they've been they've been our neighbors. There's one, a black cat, and oh yeah, then there's Too there's the there's Tabby there. So yeah, it was um, <laughs> it was interesting. And if you don't know, Scott doesn't like cats. It's not that I don't like cats, I'm allergic to cats. They have been, <laughs> they have been hunting him down. Anywhere we go, we went hike, kayaking, they follow us over mm -hmm. there. We go to the car, they follow us over there. They're actually very sweet. <laughs> Again, so if you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up. Leave your <laughs> comments down below, ring the notification bell and subscribe. And please have all your family and friends subscribe too. We really appreciate it. We appreciate you following our journey. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Take care.